in the middle of the night, the royal castle came under siege by an enemy army. After watching your parents be brutally slain from your hiding spot, you, a royal, attempt to flee into the woods. You were briefly caught by one of your enemies, but you managed to escape and leave them with a small reminder of you. As you ran, your ankle was grazed by an archer's arrow. Once you made it deep enough into the woods though, the enemy army would no longer follow, for they knew that these woods were inhabited by far more monstrous things than them. You knew this as well, of course. However, you also realized that this meant that the woods were your best chance of escaping with your life. For you know that the enemy would not dare follow. Now, deep within the heart of the forest, you cower every unexplained sound. You are well aware that if you just keep going straight, then you can make it to the neighboring friendly kingdom. Unfortunately, a mixture of exhaustion, the dissipation of adrenaline, pain, fear, regret at being unable to save your dying parents, dread for what is to become of your people, your kingdom. The uncertainty in the choices that you made. There is hesitance in your walk through the monster's forest at night alone. And you are considerably slowed by your wounds and what you had been through. As you continue trudging onward, you suddenly hear sticks and branches snapping from behind. You panic and attempt to flee, fearing being devoured by whatever is making that sound. You are so busy looking behind you at what is chasing you, that you are unable to see what is, or, well, what isn't in this case, right in front of you. There is a drop, only about 15 feet or so, but it does serve to exacerbate the already existing injuries. You then scream in anguish. Then you quickly stifle yourself with your own hand over your mouth. Fearing that you have just given away your location, you hear whatever is chasing you getting closer and closer until My, that looked like quite a nasty spill. Are you alright, human? Uh, hey, wait a moment. It's okay. You've no need to be scared. Oh, that's right. You think that I'm going to hurt you. Well, I mean, that's fair, since some dragons do have a reputation for eating people, but I promise you, I do not eat humans. Haven't since I was a child. Oh, and even then, it wasn't by choice. 
It was simply what my parents were having for dinner that evening, and they made me eat it. I didn't like it, by the way. I don't like the taste of human. The fear, it tastes, um, acrid. And it makes my stomach hurt. So, I promise, you are safe with me, human. Oh, you're all banged up and bleeding. Well, that's okay. I'm, I'm really good with medicine. So, don't worry about a thing. But we may need to think about getting someplace safer. Uh, no offense, but you kind of look like monster bait right now. Yes, I know, I'm aware that I could be tricking you. However, you're just going to have to trust me because... If we do stay here, the smell of your injuries is going to start drawing some... Very unwanted visitors. Oh, look, I would normally never coerce or pressure someone into coming back to my cave. Quite frankly, it's rather rude and creepy. Unfortunately, I don't see an alternative option at the moment. I'm very sorry that I don't have time to try and earn your trust... Otherwise, I would be able to sit with you here until you were really comfortable with me. However, as I said, we're going to have some very unwanted visitors very quickly. And I'm not sure that I would be able to defend you from them all. You will? Oh, thank goodness. I was really worried that you were going to keep arguing with me. I'm going to walk close enough to you to wrap my prehensile tail around your waist. Then I'm going to use it to place you gently on my back. So, please don't scream, and once you're on my back, just grab onto me. Okay? Oh, perfect. Okay, I'm going to slowly come towards you now. So please... Don't get scared, and don't scream. If you did, there may be no way that I am able to save you from what may hear us. So, please, please, stay quiet. got you. <laughs> and it isn't far back to my cave, I promise. I will see to your injuries once we get there. And just hold on tight. Uh, we really don't want you falling and getting any more hurt than you already are. <laughs> Here we are, see? Didn't I promise you that it wouldn't take long? I'm just going to sit you down in my nest while I go and get the supplies for taking care of your injuries. Oh, you will like my nest. It's really quite comfortable. It's mostly made of tanned animal hides and pieces of fabric that I happen to find here and there from humans like yourself. My nest is far softer than most, and I'm actually quite proud of it. I did work very hard on it, you know? <laughs> Here you are, sweetheart. There. Let me move this piece so you're nice and nestled in. Ah, are you comfortable enough? Yeah, didn't I say it was comfy? <laughs> I'm so glad that you think so as well. 
I know humans tend to be a bit more sensitive than dragons, so with as much confidence as I have in the comfort of my nest for me, I was a bit worried. Well, I am glad you like it. Also, uh, feel free to grab any of those animal skins and and use them as a blanket or cloak while I get the medicine ready for your injuries. I don't want you catching cold. You already look like your body may be trying to go into shock and, and well, getting cold will only make that problem worse. Okay, I have the medicine. If it's okay with you, I'm going to move your clothes around as needed. Okay, perfect. Let's get started, shall we? Mm. So, how did you end up in the monster woods exactly? I mean, don't take this the wrong way, but a cute little human like you doesn't exactly look like the adventuring kind. <laughs> Plus, you also kind of look far too fancy to be the standard monster hunter. It is, after all, why I felt comfortable approaching you. Oh. Oh. I... I see... I am sorry. You've been through a lot tonight, haven't you? No wonder you were so terrified when I came up. Not only was I a dragon, but you've already been through so much this evening. You poor thing. It's okay, there's no need to cry. I mean, I understand if you feel like you need to. Just know that you are safe now. And I will not let anything happen to you. For tonight, just consider me your, well, knight in scaly armor. <laughs> yes, I know, that was very corny, but, well, you humans always make such a big deal out of the shining armor saying, I just had to. It's not like a dragon gets the opportunity to say that every day, well, as far as I know. As far as I know, that was a, well, once-in-a-lifetime thing, and I would have been simply crazy not to take advantage of it. <laughs> and it did make you giggle, so bonus? <laughs> yeah, I know, I am rather, well, dorky for a dragon. I don't really get along well with other dragons. I... I do apologize if I am talking too much, it's just... <laughs> well, I'm... really not used to having someone to talk to. <laughs> well, I'm very glad that you don't mind my rambling. And there we go. All done. You, my friend, are all bandaged up. I cleaned out that wound on your ankle really well, and, well, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like you were grazed by an archer's arrow? <sighs> yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you were trying to reach that kingdom. You shouldn't travel while your wounds are still smelling this strong. I'll tell you what. If you're willing to wait until your wounds are healed, 
I would be happy to take you to that other kingdom. Until then, you are more than welcome to stay with me. I promise, I do know how to be a really good host. I'm even a great cook. I even know how to make things taste less gamey so that they're more pleasant for a human's palate. And I know how to bake cookies. <laughs> oh, you will stay until you're all better? Oh, yay! Oops, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. Um, here, let me put that out. Sorry, swishing tails and a fire just sort of happen when a dragon gets excited. Oh, pardon me for saying, but I just noticed that you look very tired. Would you just want to go to sleep for a bit? I know humans usually sleep at night, and... Well, you have had a very long day. You're too scared to sleep. Oh, I can fix that. I'm going to crawl in that nest with you. My nest is plenty big since it was built for two dragons, after all. See? Okay. You can just scoot a little bit that way. There. See? Now I will just pull you between my two front legs, and I will wrap you in them like a big hug. And I'm going to lay my head and neck over the top of you. Just think of me as a giant dragon-sized pillow fort. Well, at least that's what I think human children call those things. <laughs> I must say, I am somewhat impressed with my own human vocabulary. It does make talking to humans much easier. So, now, we're just going to snuggle and sleep together for a while. night, my sweet little human, and remember, I am right here if you need anything at all. <laughs> you know, this is actually my first hug, and I think I may like them. Yes, that is why I'm smiling so hard that it looks like my face may break. Do you get sassier when you're tired, human? Yeah, <laughs> I kind of guessed it. Go to sleep, my little troublemaker. <laughs> 